Okay, so if you've been following our channel for the past week, or I guess just like probably longer than that, probably longer than that, you know that one of our biggest goals is to make a feature length documentary. It's really dark. All right, tripod. All right, that's better. Yep. <laughs> I'll probably tell you after I go on a date, I'll tell you. But leading okay. up, I won't tell you if I went on the date or not. Well, I'd like to know. Yeah, I'll let you know. Colin doesn't tell me anything about his dating life, and it would be nice. That is true. Like, I feel like we see each other every day. It would be nice to yeah. know. But, you know. That's because that one time I told you I had a date, and then you looked her up on LinkedIn, and then when I got to the date, okay, she was that, like, hey, who's that, Samir? That was a mistake. That, that was a I mistake. Didn't know, I didn't know that people could see when you search them on LinkedIn. Well, they can, apparently. That was so a, I had to explain myself. That was a mistake. Yeah. But I've learned since then. Okay. Where's the, Where were we? Are we talking notepad. about the documentary or are we talking about my love life? <laughs> Back to what we were saying. If you've been following us for the past week or even just following this channel in general, you know that one of our main goals is to make a documentary. All of our favorite documentaries are great stories. So we gave ourselves the task of finding a good story this week. And we started by asking all of you if you had any tips. So comment below with any tips that you guys might have. And Kent said, talk to everyone. Kent is a friend of the channel. He's actually been watching us for a while on YouTube, even before we had this channel. He's probably watching right now. Hey, Kent. What's up, Kent? So we decided to take that advice and talk to everyone. At the beginning of the week, Colin was editing, which is kind of how we spend most of our days. Yep. And I was painting the back of the studio for a photo shoot. Right now, I'm painting the white psych in our studio for a photo shoot tomorrow for Yes Theory's merch line. We think Yes Theory are some of the best storytellers out there. So we started by talking with them and Amar recommended that we see a documentary called Tickling Giants. It's not necessarily about it's Tickling kind of a Giants. It's a funny name when you just say it, but yeah. in the context of it, it's actually a really good title for what the movie is. It's a story about a guy named Bassem Youssef. The controversial comedian dubbed Egypt's Jon Stewart has been yanked off the air. Hundreds of thousands of people poured into Cairo's Tahrir Square. First step is to actually go watch a documentary that was recommended to us. We're late right now. Actually, we're really late. Shouldn't even be doing this. I am facing uh, charges of insulting the president, insulting Islam, while I'm a Muslim myself, you know, right. so it's, uh, it's, it's weird. We actually got to meet Basim. That was really cool. That was cool. We figure that if you want to make a good documentary, you should probably start watching a bunch of documentaries. Just got out of the film. Wow, that was really, that was a cool doc. Really, really good. Next, we talked to our friend Evan. When an opportunity knocks at your door, you gotta open it. Who connected us with a guy named Alex. Alex is part of a traveling group of filmmakers called the Nowhere Men. Evan gave us a tip saying that Alex would have some really, really good stories. So we decided to have Alex on our podcast. We almost died in Bolivia. We got hit by a bus. We had all these crazy things. This is gonna be a hit. Part of me wants to travel with you, and <laughs> yeah. part of me does not want to travel yeah, with you. Yeah, the stories are crazy. Because I don't know yeah. if I can handle some of the things that you go through. So if you want to listen to that full podcast episode of ours, it's actually linked up here and you can hear all of his stories. They're awesome. And then after the podcast, we had literally five minutes to get him to the bus stop because he was going down to VidCon. You got five minutes and counting <laughs> to make this bus. Oh God. <laughs> How do you feel? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm nervous, I'm nervous. We cut it really close. Yeah, terminal entrance. Uh, those are the words I was looking for. Dude, all right, Alex. boys. See you, man. Rally on. <laughs> <laughs> Later, man. All right, I'm off. All right, man. See you, boys. Later. We actually did two podcasts last week. We talked to Carrie to hear some of her stories. Check, check, check. I write and direct and edit and do photography. She's actually made some films and put them in film festivals. So it's really good to talk to someone who's actually accomplished the goal that we're trying to get to. Okay, so at this point, we asked you for advice. We talked to Amar and the guys at Yes Theory. We talked to Alex from The Nowhere Men. We talked to Carrie. And then finally, we reached out to a friend of ours that we knew had a really, really good story. Dude, the story you just told me, like, that's, that's a fucking story. Samir does not curse that often, and he had to curse for that one. Oh, we kept it in. No, I bleeped it. That's a fucking story. Oh, okay. Good. I'm just saying, you know what I mean? Yeah. That's good. Yeah, I don't curse that often. We can't tell you the story or else we would ruin it. And we're obviously gonna try and tell it for a documentary, so. Trust us though, it's a really, really good story. Really good story. Whoa, man. I just 
Just saying. So that's basically where we're at in our journey right now. We're looking for good stories to tell. And we have a couple that we're really excited about, but we can't wait to see if these actually come to life and make a movie and show it to all of you guys. Keep sending some stories our way. Right now, we are searching for the story that we will take on as our big documentary project. And I think our main lesson from this past week and from listening to Kent is just talk to everyone. You're not gonna be able to do anything you wanna accomplish by yourself. You're always better if you have other people helping you out. It doesn't matter if it's a film or any other creative project or just project in general. It's important to talk to people and ask for help. And sometimes you just don't know what you'll learn or what you'll find when you start on that process. So we just wanted to give you an update. That's where we're at on our journey right now to make a feature length documentary. I think we've said it a million times that it's our goal, but we're gonna keep saying it again and again and again, because we truly believe that the more you put it out there in the open, the closer you will be to actually making it happen. All right. That's it. Tune in next week to track our progress as we try and make a feature-length documentary. All right. Peace. I'm, I'm still here, man. I don't do that on this channel. Later. I'm not sure where to stand or look when you're talking. You want to get out of the way and I'll just take that I'm just, I just wanted to acknowledge that because I feel like it happens a lot, but in this setting particularly, I feel like it's more challenging for me to know where to look. And you where feel to like stand. you're in the way. I don't. I kind of feel like I'm like talking over your shoulder. So. Right. It's kind of a challenging. When there's two people, it's a little bit of a challenging setting. But okay.